Hola, it's Gabby here for Crafty Gabby, and today I'm going to make tags for the holidays. As you see here, I'm cutting uh, different colors. This is going to be the back of the the frame of the pieces that I made in cross stitch. I'm cutting also several in white because I want this to be very sterile. And I'm going to trace the, the two lines to um, glue letters that's going to say to from. This is going to be the back of the card. After I glue the letters, I'm going to stamp a stamp related to the image that I'm going to put in the front. Uh, like I have like a Santa um, clothes. And I'm going to stamp a Santa Claus in the back. Or the ornaments, I'm going to stamp the ornaments in the back. I'm also going to start adding everything um, by color. I mean, the dominant color, I'm going to add the letters in the colors and the background in the color. Like, uh, kind of matchy matchy. As you see here, I have the um, lights for the Christmas tree and I'm going to um, pair this one with the red uh, frame. I'm going to glue the red frame to the white um, die cut background and I'm going to glue the cross stitch with double sided stick tape. But in the borders of the uh, cross stitch back, uh, the cross stitch piece. I add glue in this case, and it it, it it have it was hard. Sorry, it was hard for me to glue it down to keep it in the frame. It's for that the the rest of the cross stitch that I made, I just glued them down with double sided stick tape. Also, in the corners, I use uh, one eighth uh, of the double sided stick tape to do this. When I was going to glue the second one, I realized I didn't have any sentiment and I start adding to them. Merry Christmas. I did it with just Versamar ink and I also did it with um, so Versa Fine ink and I also did it with uh, embossing powder in white um, embossing powder. Uh, as you see here, I used double size stick tape for everything and it was uh, faster and better. Even the visa a little bit of crooked but it, it was faster. I also tried when I glued them down my cross stitch um, uh, piece I tried to use the frame of the the die cut to glue it to see it was uh, better to keep it straight but um, I don't know what happened but it, it get also a little bit crooked but it's not that much it's, um, they are still pretty, I think. After I um, glue all of them, um, I'm going to add details. As you see here, like I say, I'm going to match the color with the uh, ornament. I did the pattern of the ornament that I'm going to put in my uh, block. I did it on red, but you can add in any color. Just remember the center color is a little bit lighter plus white and the top color is in gray. I'm showing here every uh, pattern that I uh, prepared for, for this. Okay, nice. Now it's time to embellish every um, tag. Uh, I tried to look for something related, but this was too hard. I don't, I don't own so many um, 
embellishment, unless it's stickers, I don't even want to put the stickers, I want to put something that is um, hard or plastic like buttons, and that's what I did, I find buttons in the shape of, of the candy canes, and I just cut the back. Uh, I'm waiting here with the glue because this glue is better when you wait a little bit and then you attach it. It attaches way better when if you stick it just right away to put the glue. It's better to uh, add a little bit of air to the glue and then stick it up. I did the same uh, with these buttons and I add thread inside the buttons in green, yellow and red. You will see that I do this. Uh, I didn't want to do to glue the buttons with the holes empty. In this Santa, I just grew in animal dots. Um, I did put them just with a sticker, but I was thinking that I was thinking that it do, it's not going to be enough to hold them because it's thread, it's kind of the fabric of texture that are going to be holding, and I just add glossy accent. And in this, I just add um, Christmas light. This is a big um, thread of Christmas light. I just got three of them and glued them there. And in this one, I just add a branch in paper. And later on, I, I'm going to change uh, that a little bit. In this one, is googly eyes. And I also add the mouth that I die cut in uh, black cardstock. I add in um, stickless. I think that's the way it's pronounced, stickless in the same color of the uh, piece that I add in the stick. I mean the red, I will add red sticklets and the yellow, yellow sticklet and so on. I love this little tiny bottle of glitter glue and I don't use it enough but I'm making another project that I'm going to add uh, to YouTube very soon that um, I use it again because they just add glitter and I love glitter. Uh, I think every crafter loves glitter. Uh, I add in the bow and the holding scene for the present and as you see here I'm making the whole just making the loop and attach everything together and then uh, with hot glue I'm going to add the center of the bow uh, with the same thread that I add the hanging seam for the tag. Okay, in this one I cut what is, was um, hanging outside of the tag. And I didn't like it and I just cut three more, three or four more branches, small branches and I'm going to add them in um, lighter green. That way it look, uh, the Christmas tree is no one, just one green. And it look more um, full. In, in these branches you can add a little bit of um, jewel 
uh, tiny jewels all around and they going to look like distance uh, ornaments or something like that. But I like it better than it was before, even if they are hanging on the side. Now you will see I'm going to add the last part of the tag that is adding the hanging um, thread and the oh, hanging ribbon and the ribbon in the top of the tag and you will see um, which one I add in every single tag. Well, these are my tags. I hope you like them. Thank you for watching my videos. Until next time, bye.